All right. So we're back. We saved. Have I... Have I cleared this place out yet? Holy crap, I moved fast. Dang. I, ver I forgot about just how, like, sweet this, uh, my mod setup is. All right, so we haven't gotten in, in here yet. I was wondering about that. Well, I should probably, uh... I should probably charge what I got for the time being. Okay, everything looks good. Let's, uh... Let's start putting holes in buildings and see how things go. Yeah, yeah I'm excited to be back to this. I've, I've been modding the game. I, I've figured out how to uh, retrieve stuff from my freighter now. Uh, I've got a mod that specifically makes it so you can retrieve, um... So you can retrieve, uh... Oh, they're stuck on the other side. Eh, whatever. We end up fighting extra people. We Awesome, if not, awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't know, whatever, I don't really care. So last time we did this, it gave us language. This time around, oh! It wants, uh, Oxide. Alright. Well, this is probably gonna net me a better reward. It's probably just Nanites. Nope, it's Aronium. I thought I already had the recipe for that. I have no idea. Okay. Oh, the soundtrack for this is so good. They haven't put it up, uh, they haven't put up the updated soundtrack for this, this game yet. And I'm kind of disappointed because that is blinding. Stupid Gravitino balls. Okay, there we go. And we've made some more friends. Uh, you're... where? Oh, you're in that hole. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Shields are fine. Out of ammo, though. Is there a way to get it to auto-reload? No, that's a different game entirely. Okay. Anyway, so we're in the process of moving in this game. If you guys were here for that, like, very short session the other night before it, like, crashed on me. I really like this planet. It's got a hostile, uh, hostile sentinel presence, but, uh, beyond that, it's actually, it looks nice. It's got wonderful, uh, normally blue skies. Uh, I guess it's, like, greenish now, but that's probably because it's nighttime. Either way, the skies look awesome. The, everything about this planet looks awesome. And it's got an increased sentinel, uh, presence, which to most people might come off as a bit of a negative, but for me, especially if I'm going to be farming, uh, nanites, uh, then that's, like, super, super convenient for me. Is this the same place as in the YouTube video? Yep. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't played too far ahead of the YouTube footage, so this is relatively recent. Let's see, do I have subs or underwater bases yet? Nope, I don't think those are in the game. They might get added. It'd be awesome if they did, but, uh, currently they don't exist. Okay. Let's see. So we've got all the, uh, we got all the plutonium. What is, what's with, oh, we're sitting on top of a viridium deposit, probably. Maybe, I don't know, hard to tell. Also, the anomaly showed up. Did I remember to, I, I probably remembered to go visit the anomaly. It, it doesn't really matter. Also, if I remember right, this planet has, like, zero, um, this planet has, oh, shoot. Right, we're out of iron, that was the issue. Uh, this planet has, like, zero wildlife, so I'm gonna have to go hunting elsewhere. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, I'm having a good day. We went on, like, an hour-long walk today, and it felt so good. I haven't gotten out of the house much this winter. Uh, I probably should get out more often. Uh, it's just, it's hard to go. Uh, hard to go out, hard to do things, because normally I'm just such a busy person getting all my videos done that it becomes a small nightmare trying to get everything sorted. And so I don't get to leave very often. Are there seriously no habitable bases on this entire planet? Really? Like... Is this actually a completely uninhabitable base? Planet? That's concerning, because, yeah, if I check for habitable bases again, it does coordinates receive. Oh. You know what? I know why. What? Oh. Duh. Okay, uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff. I haven't cleared out my inventory in a while. Uh. You know what? I, I think I know what it is. I think because we have that habitable base on that other planet, uh, 
it is, it's, it's kind of bugging out on us. It won't let me find another habitable base in system, despite the fact that, uh... You know, despite the fact that... I'm scanning for one. I didn't even think about that, but that makes sense. Alright, so we gotta, we gotta get over here. I'll leave that manufacturing facility for the time being, because that'll make it a little bit easier. Oh! Today's the first day of spring, I didn't even realize. Well, yeah, that doubly makes for a, a good day for a walk. Yeah, it was 80 degrees and sunny, with a nice, slight breeze. Oh, it was perfect. I was, I was a really big fan of uh, just going around walking today. And it was nice. And I'm, I'm gonna be totally honest, I was, I was listening to the soundtrack for this game while we were out on the walk, so it was just like, I, I don't know. I'm in a very No Man's Sky, like, walk around ex exploration mode. Now, is this water, or is this... Wait. No, this isn't water. It's just like these weird, frozen-looking patches. However, this means there's, uh, Cory Zagan around. Alright, so this is a habitable base. What? What? Come on. Okay, that's- this is bad. Okay. Landing area not clear. I'm just gonna fly over here a bit. I got a mod for, um, better landings. Sometimes it's not better. Okay. Anyway, so we don't actually wanna... We don't actually wanna get this base. I forgot this was marked. Here's the problem. How do I get rid of it? Okay. Destination reached. Good. So now we want to leave. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't want to base here. So what we want to do is... Get back up. Uh, I have, like, a little bit of iron. Oh, right. We've got, like, a stupid amount of zinc. I keep forgetting. We get zinc from, um... We get zinc for free, more or less, from, uh, Sentinels, so not a big deal. But yeah, I need to... I don't know. I need to mess with landings some with the current mod setup. Not a big deal, but, uh, it's a little fiddly. Alright, so we've just got a manufacturing facility. Eh... I mean, honestly, we've got decent atmospheric flight, so it's not a big deal if I just go straight in like this. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go down, we're gonna check out this manufacturing facility, then I'm gonna see if I can get, um... Then I'm gonna see if I can find a habitable base on this planet, because previously, the moment we entered the system, we got a scan for the, uh, habitable base. And... it's... It was obviously, you know, incorrect, or, you know, not the right planet. But it was making it so I couldn't scan for any more. I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. But yeah, that's gotta be the, uh, correct answer. Ooh, I should see if there are any, uh, fun constructs here. I mean, there's the, like, green lantern rings, but I don't think they really count. Alright, and preemptively just gonna murder th the sentinels. Oh wait, what? I've already been in this. What? Oh, come on. I've already been here. Well, this is extra garbage. Alright, what? Oh, right. I used up all of my iron. Um, iron. Yeah, I forgot I used up all of my iron uh, refilling my shields because it's easier to get my hands on. Are you guys seriously pissed off the fact that I mined some iron here? Jeez. This is going to be a Planet of pugilism. Let's see, I think there's another one just hanging out around here somewhere. Where'd the uh, canister go? Is it just me or does scan tools charge so much slower? Now, wait, what? Oh, no, that's probably not it. Where'd the. Ah, here it is. I was wondering where the canister went, so the other one's just kind of hanging out. Oh, well, if it summons friends, it summons friends. Okay, uh. Slap this down. Okay, now let's look for a habitable base. It's one thing I don't like about this game. A 
how much damage did I take? Not, not that bad, but still. I, I wish I was invincible or untargetable during sections like that, just because. Never quite, quite makes a whole lot of sense to me that anybody would be looking at their scanner, despite the fact that they're getting, uh, beat down by laser dogs. Well, not a big deal. Oh yeah, we've also got like a billion titanium. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's not a big problem. I, all I have to do is pop back in my ship when we're good to go. Okay, um... Let's see. So hopefully, this is just on the other side of the planet. Don't tell me it's on the moon. Nope, looks, oh. Woo! Okay, so see this thing? This is a construct. I got a mod that puts them in. But, um, constructs are just like random, like, sci-fi artifacts that just dot the landscape. I'm actually super happy with them. Uh, let's see. So I know you've been following this game for this, uh, from the start. Big reason you didn't get the game was because of the price and the fact that they shut down all, uh, PR when the game came out. Yeah, so I'm gonna be totally honest. Hello Games has not improved. No Man's Sky has improved. Hello Games definitely kind of miss. Oh, crap. Where are we landing? Nowhere. Okay. Yeah, Hello Games never really, like, learned how to PR. They've just gone silent. For probably a good reason and stuff like that. Yeah, we're just scooting backwards here. I need, a, I need to make a landing pad. I'm pretty down with the location, honestly. This is a good spot to have a base. Um, but yeah, so that, uh, they haven't, like, really learned how to do PR, really. Oh, yeah, I'm digging this spot. This looks really nice. Um, but the fact that they've stuck with No Man's Sky and have continued to develop it since is 100% respectable in my, in my book. I, I know it's not, uh, I know it's not perfect by a long shot, but it's way, way better than what it could have been. Okay, so I need one Voltaic Cell and two Karite Sheets. What do we need for that? Antrium. Okay, and Karite Sheets are just iron, right? Yeah. Okay, so we've got a cave right here. It's one of the reasons why I like this uh, location. We didn't really have access to a whole lot of caves uh, earlier, and here we are. What are you? Nothing. Uh, it's... Really? Huh. Radio, then. Yeah, we're gonna need, uh, like 200 iron or so. No, only 100 iron, still. That's a bunch. Now, somebody told me that there's, uh, certain types of, uh... There's certain types of, like, hanging, uh, stalactites, stalagmites, that has antrium in it as well. I'll have to figure that out. Still, we've got a boatload of it just hanging out in the caves here, so this is more, uh, this is more than easy enough. Now I'll have to see if there's an easier way to get my hands on lots of Antrium. But no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy with the fact that they've been supporting the game. Uh, but I would really love it if they were actually a lot more, um... You're not, like, surprised... Antrium, are you? No. No. Doesn't look like we've got any surprise Antrium hanging out in there. Uh, I, I would love it if they were actually a lot more communicative. But considering the amount of, like, hate that they get from the internet, I can kind of understand why they don't talk to people. Uh, and, you know, their PR is effectively just silence. I don't know. It's hard. It, especially when they've done what they've done. I'm just happy that this game is improving. Slowly. The other question from chat was, uh... Do I like anime? Yeah, enough. Some more than others. I haven't actually really watched a whole lot of anime recently. I've been reading a lot of manga. Just because it's easier. Faster. Okay, so I'm gonna slap down a beacon right here. Okay, so I believe... I believe we're gonna be able to uh, come back here whenever we feel like it. It should be marked on the map. I also like the fact that this planet has either like one or two moons. I dig that. I love moons. I love being able to see stuff. See where I'm going and uh, what I want to gather. Yeah, there's a lot of caves around here, actually. I'm gonna have to build the tower pretty high, I think. I'll figure it out. Anyway, let's, uh... 
Oh yeah, we do have two moons. Awesome. Hopefully one of them has uh, has some animals. We're gonna have to go uh, big game hunting. Okay, so that should be s visible from anywhere. So we're gonna head up to the. Eh, do we want to head to one of the other space stations? Or not space stations? Let's head to this moon. I think it's this moon. Uh, the planet we just staked out there uh, doesn't have any critters on it, and we need to start completing planets for critters. Uh, more so than moving to a new home. Plus, who knows, maybe we'll find a new, uh, even better planet to go to. Actually, come to think of it, uh, discoveries. Planets. Um, snowy, humid, hostile. Okay, so this one. Uh, rename and upload. Every planet that I settle is going to be Wander, uh, Wander 1, Wander 2, Wander 3, whatever. Let's see, what's my favorite thing about No Man's Sky? Um... Honestly, that it's so relaxing. I really enjoy just loading this game up and just... ...sitting back to chill out for the next couple hours. It's such a, uh... It's such a peaceful experience 90% of the time, and it's so nice to just be able to... ...to just go. Uh, it also helps that we don't have, uh... It also helps a lot. I guess this wasn't a moon, this isn't uh, another planet. It's pretty far away, too. Dang. Um... Yeah, we are using the pulse engine. Oof. This one's distant. Um... Let me see. Like, most other games just don't have the, uh... Have the same kind of effect. Starbound did. Because Starbound was much more just kind of like free and open, like just have fun, go wander around, grab resources, so on and so forth. I'm not sure if I dig this planet. It's weird looking, that's for certain. It's also nice to be able to play a game where you can just kind of infinitely wander around and just be like, Yep, I found nothing and I feel accomplished today. So are there any tips or tricks to find S-Class ships? Interesting part about S-Class ships is they're just as common Sort of, as like, uh, I'd love to actually get a base on one of these, like, uh, floating platforms at some point. I don't know if that's possible. Um, oh shit, is there, there's water on this planet. Huh. See, I still wouldn't, uh, set up a base here, but it does have water on it. Doesn't look good from above. I, I should get a mod that actually fixes the water texture. That'd be kind of nice. Okay, come on. Are there seriously no POIs around here? I'm actually kind of digging this now that I'm going over it. I don't- I- I wouldn't put a base here, but it actually looks like the kind of place I'd like to explore. Okay, there's one. Oh, it's right here. What is it? It's just a resource depot? Useless. It needs to be more like mountains like that. They always look cool. Not much of a reason to explore them though, which kind of sucks. Okay, come on. There's got to be a... Uh... There's another one. Yeah, I don't want to stop at a resource depot because it's got useless resources for me. Uh, the only thing viable there is like building upgrades. Okay, what's this one? Uh, it's just a beacon. Dang it. Looking for a little bit more than that. I really wish the, uh, the scanner on the ship actually let you scan. Just like vehicles. Like, I, I like ship-to-ship -ship combat, don't get me wrong, and like flying and stuff like that. But, just a little bit extra functionality on this thing to aid in exploration would be wonderful. Uh, let's see. I should stream a q and I've been meaning to, and then my computer shit itself, and I was just like, well, this is going on the back burner for a moment. I like the variety of this planet. It's kind of a nice Nevada-looking place. Ish. Obviously, it's not Nevada. I don't know. I guess it could be... other planets, too. Well, let's see what we're up to. What we got. Uh, might have to turn the game down. I don't know. We'll see. I really love the art style for this game, too. It's not exactly the most, like, um... 
impressive at all times, but it does have a really nice aesthetic. Okay, so we don't care about too much. I'm just gonna pop down one of these. I'm out of iron, aren't I? Man, you'd think I'd actually like start storing this stuff. Okay, turn it down a tiny bit. All right. Uh, let's let's just crank it down to like 75. That should do. Okay. Okay. So yeah, let's get the let's get let's get a decent amount of. Uh, Uh, let's see. Nope. You get out of here. Stop looking at me. No, 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 no. Don't, don't hide in the iron. Okay, there we go. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah, let's let's pick up an actual like stock of iron here. I've kind of been running low. Uh, lately, just because. Okay. Uh, you, you're actually a problem. I've been running low just because I've been spending. I, I just haven't been uh, you know, y using it or saving it or anything like that. Okay, there. Got that. I am just using the wrong guns left and right here. Uh, let's see. So we want to use last of our carbon and plutonium. We should be good on both. Okay. And power canisters. And life is looking good. Okay. Let's see. Come on. Let me just my mine for a little bit in peace, dude. Like, I know I live in a... Well, I'm going to be moving to a planet that's just covered in, uh... That's just covered in sentinels, but st still, okay. I think we're about good on the uh, the stock of resources for a bit. Okay. How much is that? Oh yeah, we've got we've got like several stacks of iron. That's got to be good enough. All right, now correct me if I'm wrong, but this planet also doesn't have any cre creatures on it. I get the very distinct feeling this this planet, like the past couple, are just totally completely, um... creature-free. Unfortunately, there's no real way for me to check. I guess if I pull out my, like, uh, scan tool... If I'm not- if I'm not seeing critters immediately, I'm betting we're, uh... I'm betting we're out of luck. Okay, well, we've tried this one. Let's see, let's fill this back up. Oh yeah, I'm loaded on plutonium. Life is good. So, uh-oh. Okay, was afraid for a second I was gonna lag. Yep, so our beacon's still there. Let's, uh, what do we wanna do? I guess let's head for the sp- ah, what? That was weird, why did it- Why is my- why is my ship no longer controlling? Um. Huh. Okay. My ship is doing the jitterbug. Okay, there we go. What? That was really odd. Okay, uh, so hopefully I can control this thing. We've got our base marked. This is a nice system. I'm really happy with it. Only problem is there's no critters on it. Did... Uh, but, okay, cool. I can control my ship again. Did we scan this? Uh, we've scanned this one. I don't remember if it had anything useful on it. It's a funky looking asteroids. This is a lot of them too, Jesus. All right, let's just, uh, let's just make it quick. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Bird is hanging out in Twitch chat right now. And normally I try not to, not to quote his shenanigans, but he's trying to come up with No Man's Sky related, uh, uh, Pickup line, so you like No Man's Sky? How about feel your thigh? I I have to bring it up because it's just so notably bad. <laughs> God damn it, bird. Alright, anyway, uh dip What? No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm gonna go hide I'm gonna hide this space space station. You're gonna You're not gonna Okay, we were like scooting back and forth really strangely there. Uh, let's see, is the game playable now with the updates? I mean, it's already, always been playable, it's just the question of, like, how playable do you want it? Or not even that, I don't know, how deep do you want it? That's probably the, uh, better explanation. I don't know. I liked it when it launched. I like it now. 
I will probably continue to like it as they update it. Unlike uh, a lot of other games, I feel like none of the patches have ruined the game. Unlike, uh, say, like, Robocraft, for example, where the more they patch it, the more I get, like, grumpy at it. Eh. Okay, well, I guess I'll just pick up the Positron ejector. Okay, uh, so let's sell off some stuff. We don't want to sell... Get rid of the... Fabric. Oh! Right, I forgot. Everything is, like, won wonky. Um, let's take off, like, some amount. Zinc is kind of useful, though I can farm farm it easy-peasy. Uh, but yeah, we don't have... To, we definitely don't need this much. Yeah, I forgot since I've got the, uh, I've got the mod on that makes it so, uh, Galactic Trade Terminal sell... Buy and sell everything. Uh, everything is starred. Eh, could be worse. Let's see, is that... Oh, that's iron. Wow, we have a lot of iron. All of a sudden, uh, we definitely don't need the neutrino modules. I can get as much of that as I want. Same thing with Pugnium. Uh, was that? Oh, that was my inventory. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see, not copper wire, not zinc, or Caridium. Okay, there we go. Some of these are actually, like, useful, and I should probably hold on to them, but if I can buy them later, why? Why even care? Or bother? Let's just sell all the Armadium. We can get more of that whenever I want. Trophy and get out of here. Okay, should be good. Um, what do we want to do next? Let's see. I guess we want to... Yeah. 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 So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for my jetpack to charge. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to run for it. We're going to warp back to my original um, home base. And, uh... I'm going to, uh... I'm going to rip it apart. We'll leave the uh, storage for last, probably. Uh, let's see. And teleport. Use the console commands in the past. Was there a mod giving you access or a part of the villain vanilla games? I don't think I ever used console commands for this game. Um, at least not that I remember. I had a trainer. There's a really good plus 25 trainer on uh, nomanskymods.com that you can use if you really want to cheat for this game. Which I will do very occasionally if I need money because at this point I have zero interest in grinding the uh, the market for cash. I could, I could do certain things, but like I just don't want to. I, w I would much rather just spend all of my time looking for stuff and building than grinding the uh, day trading system forever. That gets really lame really fast, honestly. I'd be more interested if it, if there's like some kind of infinite scalability, but for the most part it just ends up being a drag. Alright, uh, let's see. I'm noticing my frame rate on this planet kind of sucks in comparison. Or do I? Oh. Uh, Oh, maybe it's all the water texture, actually, because it has to animate. I can see that. Anyway, so we're going to rip all this apart. Oh, player inside object. Of course. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so the reason why we're ripping everything apart is because we need to move. And this is cheaper. Because what happens is you end up with, uh... You end up getting all of your materials this way as opposed to the alternative. Player inside object? What are you talking about? I'm not inside that object. Unless there's somebody else hanging ar out around here, which is which would actually seriously concern me. Okay, so now that I've got that, inventory is full of glass. Can move that over. Yeah. yeah so I'll have to go through and replant my entire garden, but it'll be worth it. I'll get some more of those, uh... Some more of those, like... Oh, wait, no. We should probably actually gather from these. Even though we don't really care about the materials used. Eh. I don't know. As long as I get all the materials back to re rebuild them, I guess it doesn't matter so much, but still. Okay. okay as long as it doesn't, uh, force me to go hunting for resources to remake these, I'm perfectly happy. All right, so what suspension fluid? What do I need that for? I have no idea. Or the power gel? Very confusing. Well, I'll just move everything. 
that I can. Because I've more or less moved everything that I would give much of a dang about to begin with. Uh oh. Huh. Okay. Let's head over to the storage and let's see what I can drop off here. I got some stuff that I can probably move. And ditch and whatnot. Okay, so we want to do... move over the coprite. Providium? No, wait, no. Uh, move over... did I have Antrium in here? Yeah, I've got a bunch of Antrium. Okay, cool. Yeah, so all, all I will need to do is just more or less open up the, uh... uh rebuild these on the next planet and we'll be able to rebuild everything freely. Which will be kind of nice. Okay, so Candesium... Fervidium? Yeah, lots of Fervidium. Spadonium. I might not even rebuild some of these, because I don't really need them for anything. Uh, I think Candesium is useful, but only for, like, growing plants, so... Kind of what's the point? Okay. Now, yeah, I'll transfer over, like, a thousand iron. That'll fit the... fit the space. Okay, cool. So I guess next up... Yeah, let's, let's finish this off. I don't remember there... oh yeah, we did have a couple of glass sections here. Yeah, I'll have to worry about running out of those, but that's, that's fine. Alright, uh, let's see, so now that I've got that... How's our inventory looking? Still getting pretty full. Alright, Starship's got Pugnium. Let's grab the Pugnium. Let's grab the that. Let's get rid of the power... power gels. So wait, no. We need the power gels for something. I don't remember what exactly, and I guess let's move the... Uh, uh, the. Oh right, I forgot I replaced this thing. It's yellow? I thought it was like white! Ah, that preview system means nothing to me. Uh, or not means nothing. Ah, that preview system's garbage. Alright, so we want to summon you. Yeesh. Yeah, I, something about this... this specific planet has, like, weird issues with frame rates. I'm kind of glad I'm, um... I'm kind of glad I'm moving. Okay, so aluminum... copper... I figured out, by the way, how to, uh, transfer stuff freely. Uh, without, uh... without having to go up to my freighter. It's, uh, one of the beacons that you can get. The... Com beacon or whatever it is? The... Yeah, that one. Okay, we've got some Lemium. I don't really know what the point of Lemium is. So I might as well, uh, sell that. Did I have anything else in my inventory that was complete useless? Not the glass, not the Heridium, not the Thamium. Hold on to the iron. Oh! There's some antimatter there for some reason. Why do we have the antimatter? Okay, uh... Jeez. A lot of glass, a lot of karite sheets. Should probably figure out a better way of transferring some of these over and around and stuff like that. Okay. I'll have a much better organized base later. Right now, things are just a little bit funky. Oh, there's the Rygogen. Okay, so we don't need the Pugnium. And if I'm lucky, I can make one warp cell, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, since I'm not gonna be... I'm never gonna get rid of this ship, so I might as well keep it fully stocked. I don't know if I'm gonna use it as much later on, but it's nice having a ship that has a, uh, no longer possible amount of inventory slots. Okay, so where's all that spare Pugnium? There it goes. Okay, so let's take these up next. After a certain point, some of these probably don't need to be done. Uh, this needs to be picked up, though. Which means I need a lot of inventory space. Crap. Um... Do I get rid of... let's get rid of carbon. Let's get rid of all the... iron, too, now that I'm thinking about it. I guess I could actually sell all the iron instead of just dropping it. Cause yeah, I can I can pick up carbon and iron wherever I go. Uh we'll get rid of the heridium, it's only ten. 
So yeah. Get rid of those. I have a lot of Thamium. Did not realize I was packing so much. Oh, right. We needed Thamium for, um, for other things. Okay, well, I think that's it. Uh, there's nothing left in the previous base item cache, yeah? Just a Karite sheet. Cool. So we're done. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's get to our new base. And then, after, uh, once we're, once we're set up in the new base, which I think will be the final base that I move to, um, then I'm probably going to move, or not, not move on, uh, I'm probably going to switch over purely to animal hunting, so we can max out our warp drives, because I think, how many, I don't remember how many warp drive, uh, recipes I have, I think I only have one of them right now. I went the wrong direction. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I love it how, uh, No Man's Sky is like, should I or should I not get No Man's Sky time, and now it's turned into, should I or should I not get, um... Oh, that's a pretty ble- you're bleen. Jeez. Pretty green planet. Ah, uh, now it's turned into, should I get, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda? Answer is, eh. I have really low standards for games. If it's fun, I'm, I'll am i pick it up. If it's not fun, then I probably won't. <laughs> I don't know. I... I just... I, I think somewhere along the way... Well, it's weird though, because like, I have standards for games. I guess really the problem is, is it fun or not? And for me, fun is like kind of a very casual whatever experience. And a lot of people will, like, disagree with me on that one. Oh, shoot. Planet rotated on me. Or I rotated on the planet. I really wasn't just paying attention. I don't know. Um... But, like, I still get shit on, uh, for... I, I did a video on Fury, if any of you guys know that game, F-U-R-I. And I really didn't like it, and I was, you know, kind of trying to explain why I didn't like it. And people were giving me, you know, non-stop trouble for it. Uh... And, like, for me, I, I just didn't like that game, but where now everybody, like, hates Mass Effect Andromeda and No Man's Sky and all these other games. And I'm just like, I don't know, I'm having fun. <laughs> uh, it makes me feel like an absolute cheeseball or something. Okay. Let's see. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot to... Eh, whatever. They're not too expensive. I forgot to grab my vehicle things. Okay, uh, this is the one, yeah? Yeah! Alright, claim home planet. Okay, so if I interact with this, what can I do? I can rename it... Oh, and I can upload it to the Steam Workshop. That's neat. Uh, I might do that later. Anyway, this is going to be, uh... the fish tank. Alright, so, I guess the first order of business is, we've got a couple of offshoots. Oh, this is a get, huh? It's a gek one. Okay, well, for first order of business, what the? Message mod? Oh. Huh. I don't think that had the same visual style. Maybe it did. No, that's definitely new. Okay, so it's a room part? Yeah, it's a room part. Alright, so now we've got the uh, galactic trade ter terminal up. I have no iron. Right. I forgot that's a serious problem with any of these bases. Well, I guess we got the Voltaic cells back. Oh, shoot. They require a damn don't they? Well, that's going to be a problem. Uh, how's my inventory looking? Very empty. Oh, right, because we made the, uh... Galact Galactic Trade Terminal thing along the way. Well, that's handy. Okay, uh, can I even mine this? This is... Nope. I'm... You know what? I'm just going to ignore the, uh, the iron thing that's blocked off by, like, very bizarre modeling issues. Okay. So, yeah, how much iron do we need? Lots of it. Stupid amounts. Uh, maybe I should have actually just put it onto my freighter. 
I think there are ways for me to get it up and down. Uh, let's see. Can I can I just mine these from here? Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't like uh, plunk down a vehicle uh, vehicle thing anymore. Uh, and go mining because it turns out they've actually got like a, a power cost for weapons, which sucks because I was really down with mining a um. No. Uh -oh. I was really down for making like a mining rover, and now they're kind of moot. Because I might as well just use my gun, which has more mining upgrades, I think. I actually don't know which is uh, more efficient. It's an interesting question. Well, one way or another, I'm just I'm just excited to be on a new planet again. I'm kind of shiftless like that. If uh, if Fallout 4 had, uh, I mean, it has multiple. Uh, it has multiple, uh, like, settlements that you can move into, but only a couple of them are, like, really viable in my opinion. If you could put a settlement down wherever you wanted, I would never, ever pick a, like, final spot. I'd be so indecisive. It'd be bad. Oh yeah, we should probably tear up the, uh, beacon, now that I'm thinking about it. Alright, anyway, let's, uh... Get the tower going. Do we think that's enough? That's probably enough. Go away. This is my house. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to put, like, walls or- What? Come on. It followed me inside. These are- these things are completely not- not acceptable. We really need, like, defense turrets or something. Well, let's see if they follow me further in. Doesn't look like it. Okay, uh... You know, out of curiosity, did these guys... Nope. I want to talk to this guy. I assume he doesn't have any new blueprints, yeah? I can't imagine he would. Yeah, if they're grayed out, that means we can't buy them. So yeah, we got every blueprint here. Okay, well, let's just start with ladders here. You know, in retrospect, now that I'm looking at it, maybe I should, um, not make it so damn tall. Yeah, let's make it shorter. Uh, I originally considered making it super freaking tall. Uh... As a, like, uh... As, like, a nice style or something? We already had a glass. No, we're not out of glass. We're probably out of iridium. Okay, well let's uh let's get the Corzagon farm down. Tear you up, actually. Okay, uh -da 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 -da. room parts, room parts. I think I've got the resources to farm the Corzagon immediately. Okay, so farming. Yeah, because this stuff. This stuff takes some serious work to make. Or time. Or mainly just, it has a huge demand. Okay, there we go. So that's, that's like half a billion of it. What about the album and pearls? Though I guess they're not super useful anymore. Nope. Uh, oh, the rigogen, which I put away. Whoops. Oh, whatever. So, interesting question. What about storage? Containers. It bugs me a little bit that you can't, uh, you can't put storage containers on, like, walls and stuff like that. Oh, well. Um, so do we want to mess around with, like, uh, base designs for a second here? Tempting. Let's do so. Uh, structure. Because we've also got these, like, square rooms. Actually, interesting question. I could also have, like, a separate structure. I kind of prefer it if it's all enclosed, though. Uh, this way we don't have to worry about, uh... Rogue. Rogue dudes coming through. So what can I do with this? Uh, let's check room parts. So we can have doorways. Oh, I could put windows there. So we could have... Oh, but we can't put windows in the corners. Huh. What about, uh... Cuboid rooms? Yeah. Okay, so this is... This is bunk. It's kind of a neat visual thing, but 
not something I'm interested in. Hmm. Do we even want this? I'd like to know if the Atlas Pass cylinder pods actually store stuff. That's an interesting question. I'll have to check that out in a second. All right, let's tear these up for a second. I, I considered them, but in retrospect, we probably just want to do this. Do we want to have... Hmm. I'm just not sure how I want to design this base. Honestly, because... I like the idea of having almost like a... Hmm. A flower shape-ish? Oh, hey Joel. I haven't seen you in a while. How is life? Okay. Uh, for reference to that comment, Joel is uh, one of my buddies hanging out in YouTube chat, and I haven't seen him in actual years. I really wish there's like a way to get these to rotate on their sides or something like that. So what do we, what, how do we want to do this? So, I've got, I've got storage. We're gonna need the storage, if anything. If there was, there's this. Oh, what a. What are these? I'm gonna just slap a cuboid roof cap on. Huh, so it's not visible from the outside. That's odd stuff. Oh, and we just made a friend. Yeah, I could also make like some kind of complex around the outside. I guess I'm mostly just trying to figure out how I want to have, um,. I'm mostly just trying to figure out... Oof, that is loud. Okay, let's turn that down. Do like 65, maybe? Uh, because I got all these, like, uh, storage rooms. And that's kind of the biggest problem, because I can't fit them in... in any, like, reasonable sense that doesn't suck. I guess we have a couple of weird options. One, I could actually have it facing externally. Like, I could slap one down right there. Uh, what does that even look like? Yeah, so we just see the backside of this, and I assume there's not much I can do to it. I've always had this problem, because I really like the round base designs. So we could have this sitting around outside. But... I don't know, I really like the, the view here sometimes. <sighs> ah! You'd think this is actually a pain in the ass, but you'd actually be wrong. I appreciate having sentinels bopping by every once in a while to deliver nanites. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of just how to have, like, a really nice looking base. Do we have another? We have another. These guys are endless. I should probably just go back inside and not bother, bother with it for a bit. I mean, the other thing I could do is actually make like a giant vaulted like, um, hall. Almost here. Oh. If that's the case though, I should almost move the galactic trade terminal around and have it be on the other side of the wall? Yeah, I don't know. Anyone know why the Sentinels hate water so much? Uh, I think I already mentioned that, but... Um, I actually, uh... I, I'm on a planet that specifically hates my guts. Uh, like it's hostile, uh, hostile Sentinels and everything like that. Let's see, a two-story building, circle around the tower, and build the tower four stories high, have corridors attached to the main tower. Yeah! I don't know. Hmm. Well. Oh! Now that's an interesting look. I don't think I'd do it. But I can have these at caps. Yeah, they look a little funky. Be great if I could just have it, like, butt up against a wall or something. And I could just... 
sick them right there. Oh, crap. Damn it. I don't know. I... How far back does that send me? I might have to go set this up, uh... That, wow, that sucks. Kills all momentum. When was the last save? 40 minutes, so 10 minutes ago. Ooh, that hits me right in the momentum. That sucks. Okay, so it's a... Oh, sweet Christmas. Really? Okay, well, so we have our base, but that's the extent of it. Yeah, the last time it saved was when I... Alright. Last time it saved is when I claimed the base. <clears throat> Could be worse. Could be a lot worse, but still sucks. Yeah, our crash is frequent. They've been more frequent with uh, the Pathfinder update, but I wouldn't be surprised if to some small degree it wasn't because... I, um, I specifically, uh, like, have a couple of mods. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know.